Guys like us who grew up in these little towns and get opportunities very often. And so when they come, you want to grab it. You want to go for it. You James Mantis kid? You just turned 18? Yeah. Your old man wanted me to give you this. Pick it up at Billy's garage. My father sent me these keys. You don't know what they're for? No. Start saving money for gas, so you're gonna need it. Dude, is this thing a gift or a curse? This isn't about the car. This is about you. You've been challenged to drive 3,000 miles in a beat-up old bomber to find your father. I haven't seen him one time since I was 10. He's a famous guy. Rock and roll. He could have called me or something. He made mistakes. What? Wow. No trip. Happy motoring. The headline said the end is near. This is a good idea. We're okay. They're saying. What the hell? So will he buy? What are you so freaked out about? What am I freaked out about? Your father spot welded a metal coffin to the floor of this car's trunk. What's going on, Phyllis? No uh, dead bodies or nothing, right? <laughs> we could be like carrying illegal goods or like maybe smuggling drugs for your dad. I'm going to trust him. You trust him? Wish you luck, man. All of the best of luck. What are you doing out here? I was on my way to California. Me too. I swear the sky is bigger out here. It's wild. You drive 10 minutes out the highway and the whole world completely changes. Do you feel ready to see him? My expectations are pretty low. You know, maybe he's trying. There's two sides to every story. I'm less scared that he won't show up as I am if he does. It's a big day. Now go. Stop wasting time. What's this? Oh. Oh, it just came with the car.